Winter weather week. When temperatures drop, we typically think about ice on our roads, but the weather outdoors can also affect indoor ice. 7 News meteorologist Dan Bickford took a trip to the Bon Secours Wellness Arena to show how it can affect the Swamp Rabbits rink. Winter sports are, by definition, cool. Actually, cold. At the Bon Secours Wellness Arena this time of year, that cool is felt in the arena temperature. There's ice to keep frozen. We like to keep the ice between like 17 and nothing over 24 degrees. So there's kind of a sweet spot for ice temperatures. If it gets too cold, going to chip out the ice. Um, and if it's too warm, it feels like they're going to be skating in sand. And in order to make sure the ice is playable, they have to factor in our ever-changing Carolina winter weather. If the ice deteriorates, you know, some buildings seven, eight minutes into a game or into a period, uh, it can certainly change. We're aware of that. You know, you definitely have to simplify your game as the period goes along. You even see that in the NHL, right? 20,000 people in the building. It's difficult to maintain those ice conditions. Yes, fans getting in and out of the arena can change the arena temperature and the ice. Those temperature changes can kind of shock the system sometimes, but it mainly stays pretty well as long as we got doors closed and it's, you know, not a big event where we're loading in and loading out with all the doors open and it drives in more humidity. If we see a more spring-like weather pattern, that humidity can be a problem. Much as water condenses on a glass of cold water on a humid day, it condenses out when it hits the cold air of the rink, leaving a steady supply of water that turns the ice slushy. The humidity gets too out of control, we you know, turn on some dehumidifiers. Water on the ice is a good thing in small amounts. That's where the Zamboni comes in. Just lays down a, a bunch of water, um, tries to fill in those gaps as much as it can, and keep, keeps the ice fresh. This contributes to a fast-paced game, one that a growing number of area kids see and want to get involved in. Over at the Pavilion, uh, the Greenville Hockey Association, they do a great job, especially starting those youngsters off and getting them out there. We send players out and our coaching staff as well to help with these youth camps and on these hockey days that they have. Hopefully one day being able to uh, produce a professional hockey player, maybe even a swamp rabbit that grows up here in Greenville. I mean, that's the ultimate goal. Now that would be as cool as the ice. From Greenville, I'm 7 News Meteorologist Dan Bickford. For the Swamp Rabbits game to their schedule, head to our website at WSPA.com.